This is 10 tips and tricks for pet friendly travel presented by Wellness. My name's Andrew Muse, and this is my adventure buddy, Kicker. We've been on all kinds of wild adventures. We've been up to Alaska, all the way down to Baja. We've been traveling for a long time together, and we just wanna share some of the things that we've learned along the way. Number one, keeping your pet safe and happy is the most important thing you could ever do. You wanna make sure you're going to places that are pet friendly, that allow dogs to be there. You also wanna make sure you're in a situation where you're never gonna leave them in a hot car, absolutely unacceptable to do so. There's never an instance where that is okay. Um, and you just want to be operating within your skill set, within your comfort zone. Don't be going on some crazy adventure that you're not sure you can complete or get yourself through safely. Um, it's definitely not an appropriate place to have your dog along with you for that kind of adventure. Operate within your comfort zone. Make sure they're comfortable and happy and safe and having fun. Um, that's the most important thing. We're out here trying to give our dogs the best life possible. It's my number one tip. And also, always having like cool, fresh water available, lots of treats, lots of food. We've got, you know, some fresh water for him in the shade while we're camping all the time. It is a little hot out today, but um, yeah, we're just making do. So if you are in a situation where you have to leave your pet at the hotel or in some sort of air conditioned space, somewhere where you can't bring the dog, Make sure you bring a piece of home, whether that's their favorite toy, something like the hamburger here, or, <laughs> or a t-shirt, something that smells like you. He's a big fan of dirty socks and underwear, but it didn't feel appropriate to show you guys my dirty underwear. Um, but yeah, we just make sure that when they're left behind, if you have to do that, try not to, you give them something to stay entertained, something happy. We also have these, uh, Whimsy dental treats, keep them entertained, keep their teeth happy. He really likes them. Over here, you gotta sit and be a cool guy. Sit, okay. Yes, go man, you gotta stay close. So these are our favorite, keeps them entertained for a while and also makes his breath smell better and his teeth uh, helps with freshens breath, reduces tartar and plaque. More time to just like be entertained and enjoy himself. Tip number three these adventures, these travel things we're doing. You wanna make sure it's fun, you wanna make sure they're enjoying themselves. I know Kicker loves treats, so treat them well. We've got uh, some wellness jerky treats. The beef recipe is his favorite. It's also how we get most of our cool photos. It's just by, you know, positive reinforcement. That's like the best thing we can do for our dogs. You ready? We're gonna do a trick here. Leave it, stay, stay, okay. Oh, almost. Go boy, here. What's this? What's that? Go man, go man. So, treats are paramount. We just make sure we keep our dog happy, well fed, well hydrated, all those things. Again, it all trickles down to rule one, happy and safe. Tip number four, try to stick to your routine. Make sure you're feeding at the same times, you're going for walks in the morning or however you go for a walk. Typically the first thing we do when we wake up is we go for a nice long walk and then you get some food and yeah, we just try to stick to that even when we're on the road traveling. And it's also a great way to sort of explore and see a place when it's a little bit quieter, a little bit sleepier. And uh, yeah, it's, it's how we do it. Tip number five is to explore with your furry friend to go out and you know, just find new places. There's nothing like bringing your dog along and having that shared experience of discovering a new zone, uh, a new trail, a new restaurant, new people. Um, I personally only go to places that are dog friendly because he's always with me and you always meet dog people. It's great, you know, if you someone doesn't like dogs, like I'm always a little skeptical. So number six, this is obvious, stay hydrated. Make sure you bring a collapsible water bowl, or you know, you can even, here's a really cool trick, if you forget a, your collapsible water bowl, you can lay down a rain jacket in a, you know, in a cup fashion, you can pour water into it and it'll store the water, your dog can have a nice drink, but try to bring a collapsible water bowl, plenty of water for you and your dog, and uh, just take breaks often, hang out in the shade, let your dog cool down, you know, he's wearing this big fur jacket, and uh, he gets hot, so 
Number six, stay hydrated. Tip number seven is if your dog suffers from anxiety, you can bring the wellness calming bites. Um, long car rides can be stressful for dogs. Rough roads uh, in particular for Kicker are pretty stressful. So if we're gonna be on a rough road for more than 15 minutes, I'll give him a calming bite uh, in the car and he just chills out. So if your dog suffers from some sort of anxiety or gets stressed out in situations, check out the wellness calming relaxation support. Um, Kicker loves them and it just chills them out for those bumpy dirt roads that can be challenging for, for dogs to get comfortable in. Because we want you to be happy. We want you to be safe and thriving and just enjoying all these adventures, right? Sometimes there's things we have to do that like you don't like, like big bumpy roads. Tip number eight, sometimes being an overpacker is a good thing. I always make sure to have Kicker's medication if he's taking any plenty of dog food, dog food for like three more days than we are actually staying for, um, his blanket, his dog bed, just all the things that make him comfortable and happy because that's what we're here to do. We're trying to give our dogs the best life possible. That's why we, you know, give them good dog food and, and high-end treats and nice toys. So just, you know, make sure your dog's happy. It's not that, it's, it's so worth it to have all the things that, that they need for them to have the best experience they possibly can. Number nine, make friends along the way. Traveling is a great way to socialize your dog, um, meet other people, and sometimes you get some really cool tips and tricks. I personally know I'm a little anxious, I'm a little uh, shy, and Kicker, I literally am just like, go, make me friends. And he's like the best way I make friends on the road and in my day-to-day -day life. So number nine is make friends. And number 10, my favorite, the most important is to be a good steward. That means picking up your dog's poop. Um, that means even picking up other dog's poop on the trail. We wanna leave these wonderful places that are still dog friendly, open to the public, and typically if there's a reason to shut them down, they will get shut down. So make sure, you know, if your dog's aggressive or reactive, to have them on a leash, have them under control at all times, no matter what. Um, keep them close by, make sure they've got good trail manners, you know, if there's somebody coming on a bike, get them up out of the way, you want to keep your dog safe, you want to keep yourself safe, you want to keep other people on the trail safe, and we want to keep these places open to the general public. Um, I love this concept, it's called being poop negative, so I use it with trash, I use it with my dog, you know, there's times at camp where Kicker will wander off and I'm not totally sure, you know, I didn't keep my eyes on him 100% of the time. Maybe he, he pooped and I missed it. So I make sure to pick up as much dog poop as I see because I know there's been a time and a place where Kicker pooped somewhere and I didn't see it and I didn't pick it up. And I just make sure to be poop negative. It's a pretty easy concept. Um, so number 10, tip number 10 is be a good steward. I know y'all can do that. So. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in to Wellness's top 10 tips and tricks for pet friendly travel. Again, my name's Andrew, this is Kicker. Thank you so much for following along. If you like this content, leave a comment. If you have any other ideas, what are your top 10 tips and tricks for pet friendly travel? Leave those in the comment. You can follow me at Andrew underscore underscore Muse, or you can follow Kicker Dog at Kicker Dog Muse, and definitely follow Wellness Pet Food, and yeah, just let us know what you think of this kind of content. We're excited to create and uh, share what we've learned along the way with you. Thanks for following along. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go bring the hamburger, whatever you need to do. Oh, he's got the hamburger and the dental chew. Okay, good boy, good boy. You did so good, you did so good. Yeah.